Okay, wow, three kings. Okay. You have three kings showing up. So this is very nice. Another person showing up. Okay, and you've got an extra card too. Okay, another person and the Ace of Wands, which I'm going to put here so that you can see it. All right, so let's go over this reading. So Taurus, this is a month in which you're dealing with a lot of people. So since a lot of people are showing up, I'm going to say that for those of you who have been in stable relationships, who have been in stable relationships, okay? I do feel that um, the stability is, is going to continue. I do sense that with this spread. And what I'm sensing as well is um, for those of you who have been in a relationship with a fire sign, okay, I, I do sense your partner. And fire signs are um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. If you're thinking about a fire sign, if you are romantically linked up with a fire sign, um, if they have been kind of absent or if communication has been kind of shaky and sporadic between you and the fire sign, they're coming back in for this month and they're going to um, they're going to come in with a new outlook and a new way for to to be in your life okay and it, it looks very positive to me so if there has been troubles or if there has been you know uh, things have been stall in in the process of getting together with this fire sign i definitely feel that the energy is allowing you here to have an opportunity for a major breakthrough in this relationship okay so that can be just in general for those of you who are interested in or are romantically linked up with a fire sign. On the work front, if you have been working with a fire sign and things have been stalled, there's definitely new ideas that is going to move this work partnership forward. So you don't have to worry. It looks very, very fruitful. So they're coming in with a new outlook in life, with a new way of communicating with you. And as a result of it, it would be in your best interest to give this another go or to give this another opportunity to, um, to flourish, okay? Because it looks to me to be very, very fruitful. I do feel though that you are a little bit critical when they start coming back into the picture, okay, with the fire sign. I feel that you are a little bit um, critical of them and you are also going to ask a lot of questions because I have here a page of wands coming back in as well as the knight of swords where it's an energy, it's not a person I don't sense, it's an, uh, an energy and the energy is a little bit disruptive where you might ask a lot of questions or you might give them you know, a piece of your mind and they're standing firm and they're going to dish they're going to take whatever you have to dish out so whatever it is that has been frustrating you in the past give it a voice voice your opinion so that you know it doesn't happen again i definitely see breakthroughs in communication i definitely see a reversal with this fire sign that will allow the situation the relationship the partnership or the communication to move forward in a very very positive light okay so I mentioned this for the other signs that Mercury in retrograde does bring about communication problems. However, when it is a, a situation that has been ongoing, Mercury in retrograde also can give us very, very profound insights as to how we can find a solution to an existing problem. So it's um it's a curse and a blessing, but I do feel that, you know, as with everything in life, we have energies that um, ebb and flow and Problems in the past can be resolved with Mercury in retrograde as well, okay? So I do feel that it is going to play out in your favor. So this is a really good planetary aspect for you, especially coming in for January. For those of you who are, um, so you have three kings showing up here. So because we have three kings, I usually read them as an energy. So this means that for this month, the King of Pentacles is somebody who is very, very financially uh, stable, okay? In the reverse position, I'm going to read this energy as you overall, and there is definitely some kind type of a financial, it can be a financial loss that you're taking with the Five of Pentacles, because it is uh, the poverty card, but it is surrounded by very, very good cards so it indicates to me that you know it's not the end of the world okay you can rebuild your empire you can go off and um this is 
telling me that this is basically a very, very minor loss in the greater scheme of things. So take the advice and just know that it is is not the end of the world, okay? Because I do feel that you're going to come up on top. You have some divine protection here with the judgment card. And the judgment card also brings about new beginnings too. So the, the, the overriding theme here is that, you know, uh, what comes up must go down. And that's just the nature of life. That's just the nature of energies. And that's just the cyclical nature of um, our lives. So whatever financial loss that you're taking, it is actually a blessing in disguise because, for example, for example, for those of you who have been, you know, employed and you recently got laid off, for example, then I do feel that it frees you up to pursue other opportunities that you might not have been, um, I guess, courageous enough to pursue because you were stuck in that other job and you were concerned about financial security or even job security. For those of you who have, you know, recently uh, settled, have come into some type of a settlement with another person and you feel like you're taking a financial loss or you feel like they're getting a bigger chunk than you are, it indicates to me that, you know, it's not the end of the world. You will once again rebuild yourself because we have very, very, very favorable cards. So the financial loss is the five of pentacles surrounded by the sun, the judgment card and the king of pentacles. So the way that you're looking at, you know, I feel like it's not a relatively is not a financial loss. It's just the way that you're looking at it. And if you're comparing what it is that you're getting in return versus what somebody else is getting in return the whole process of comparing yourself with another person is what's making this situation worse than it is so a, sh a shift in perspective i'm sensing is going to be important for you for this month in order for you to feel as if you know to to move on with your life a, a different perspective a shift in the way you're thinking at the situation and going inward and focusing on more on how you can help other people or at least flipping the script to see that, you know, how this, not that how this is benefiting you, but how this is going to be helpful for other people is going to be good for you. So an example that I can think of, another one is, um, so if you were in a situation where, I feel that it's sort of like um, if you are a um, if you're investing in stock, for example, and um, somebody else around you is, you know, making a lot of money, there might be a little bit of envy coming into the picture. So you have to really think about your the shift in your perspective. You know, maybe the money is coming to them, not because they're that savvy at at investing, but it's just because they're in it at the right place at the right time. So there's an element of luck. Or maybe the universe senses that this is something that the other person really needs. So they're being, being rewarded for it because to help them out of some difficult times in their life. Okay, so not holding grudges and just letting things, um, let, letting things go and reflecting on how blessing comes to all people and at all different times of the day and your blessings will come in for you at a later date okay so thinking about that in and putting that in perspective and really you know trying to prescribe to that type of mentality is going to be very very beneficial for you and it gets rid of the negative um, negative thinking that if you are kind of mired in it it will allow you to get rid of the negative thinking you know the the poverty mentality okay but I definitely feel that in general, it is really important to um, be vigilant and diligent about saving. Be very careful about making, you know, uh, major, major purchases or taking trips and overextending yourself or overspending. Just that's something to keep in mind. And I feel this energy come in very, very clearly, usually for earth signs, because um, as soon as your final base, your financial base starts um, being chipped away, then you still, you feel, you start to feel very emotionally, um, 
rattled. So that's just something to keep in mind. I do feel that this month is going to allow you to see how much you are loved by other people. Whatever this situation that you're going through where you're feeling as if either the financial lack or the spiritual lack or the lack in friendships and meaningful relationships, the people around you are the ones that are going to be able to show you that you still have a lot of people around you who care about you, family members. You have a lot of support coming in from other people. It is really important for you to be bold and to also think about, to be bold and think about, you know, asking others for help. If you are in any type of a dire situation, they will come to your rescue. Okay, that's the first thing. This is a card about communication, communication, communicating our needs. And this is a just, you know, overall very, very good positive energies. And I do feel, you know, with the Knight of Swords, it's somebody rushing in, coming to your aid, coming to your rescue, but they don't know, they can't do it unless you take the first step and ask them, okay? So whatever it is that is heavily on your mind, that is making things difficult for this month, you are going to be getting the divine guidance, interference in the form of another person coming to rescue you. So don't worry about it, okay? I do want to say as well that um, in the process of allowing other people into your life, you are going to feel very loved and appreciated and you, people are just going to go above and beyond to make sure that you are uh, emotionally uh, nurtured and that you're going to be okay. So I can't stress that enough because I do feel a lot of worries coming in and it's kind of like, you know... Um, putting it's it's sort of like putting all your eggs in one basket you have this very very um concise idea of what you want things to look like for example and then all of your energy all of your expectations and hopes are kind of um funneled into this one thing and if that one thing doesn't pan out then you're just going through like worst case scenario so it's kind of like this up and down energy when it comes to your emotional state and then you're going to realize that oh you you, you wear yourself out overthinking it or even over over um imagining it so you're kind of siphon, siphoning through you know Best case scenario, worst case scenario, best case scenario, worst case scenario, and then you just wear yourself out emotionally, and then you realize that, okay, it, it doesn't really matter, I'm going to be patient and diligent and just let things play out because overthinking it is really um, getting me really emotionally rattled. So that's the energy that you're bringing with you towards the second half of this month. I also feel as well, um, going back to... I, I'm just sensing that people are going to surprise you in amazing ways for this month, okay? People that have been flaky, that have been undependable or unreliable, they are coming through and they're they're carrying their weight and they're helping you. And then people come out of the woodwork too because we have this Knight of Swords. People coming out of the woodwork to help you at the very last minute. So either way, you have very, very strong divine protection. And um, it is really important for you to... Uh, not isolate yourself and live in your own bubble and to incorporate other people into your life because through your networks and your social connections you're going to really thrive this month it's funny because um for the other signs um i'm sensing that they want to be alone and they should be alone but for you you have to incorporate other people into your life because through other people you're going to find a lot of blessings okay People will bring you a lot of blessings and make you feel quite good about yourself. And they are bringing with them a lot of love and a lot of um, support, a lot of emotional support. So for those of you who are in a romantic relationship with a, a water sign, well, j let's just talk in general when it comes to your dating prospects. I do feel if you are in a position where you have to choose between fire and water signs, both of these look positive. I feel that there might be a new water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio coming through. For those of you, it can be male or female, depending on what your sexual orientation is and you know whatever gender you're dating. But I definitely feel a very solid um, person who is showing a lot of interest. But I do feel that I feel like it's a new f water sign, okay? It's a new person. It's somebody who is very emotionally stable. So 
it's somebody that really cares about you as well. And I am also feeling that they feel, they, they might tell you, I'm here, I'm interested. But it seems to me that you have some issues that you might need to take care of. So until you take care of those issues, then, you know, I'll be here. I'll, I'll wait for you. So this is a very good, stable energy. Okay. If for those of you who are deciding between a fire sign and a water sign, I do sense that for a lot of you, you know on an intuitive level that this water sign is a better match for you and you feel that you know they love you a great deal and you understand that they love you a great deal but for some reason the excitement the the um, physical chemistry the just the um, just the excitement with the fire sign is so great that you might go with a fire sign and you know the fire sign they both look very stable to me it's just you have a history with the fire sign and the water sign is coming through with new energies so, you know, it is the new year, so we might want to try to do things differently, okay? So that's just something I want you to keep in mind. And if both of these people are from your past, then I do feel that you do want severance. You do want to cut the ties, and you want to start a new phase in your life, and you want to just uh, scrap the past and move forward with something new. And in that case, if that were the case where both of these characters are from the past, there is going to be a, an air sign. An air sign is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And it looks very, very, very favorable. The thing about this air sign, though, is that air signs tend to live in their head. And it's really, it, it can be a little bit challenging, I feel like, for a Taurus to form a very strong emotional connection with an air sign. Um, air signs tend to be a little bit aloof and nonchalant. So even if they're interested in you, they might not be overly affectionate or they might not be very showy with their emotions because that's what I'm sensing with this energy. But there is st strong fascination coming in from your end to them and, and vice versa. So I definitely feel that it's uh, a relationship that is kind of difficult to get off the ground, but it can be fruitful. The people are coming up in your spread as some as uh, very dependable, good-hearted people. So I don't feel that you have to worry at all, okay? For those of you in stable relationships, I definitely feel that um, there are a lot of things that you're dealing with outside of the relationship. This can be just, you know, finances. This can be, you know, deciding where to travel. This can be just um, figuring out where you want to live even this is new property you know finding a new house for yourself so a lot of you who might have taken like a financial loss you might have to find a new place to live and you're kind of bogged down with or even like just kept very very busy when it comes to the practicalities in life so don't let those responsibilities fall on the wayside and especially don't um I mentioned that you are going to get a lot of blessings through other people for this month. But I also feel that, you know, getting advice, getting help from other people in order for you to stand on your own two feet is something that you really should try to cultivate. So this can be, you know, I mentioned this as well before that um, people will help you to get you back on your feet. Once you are more than capable of getting back on your feet or once you're back on your, your feet, then try to do things on your own, you know. So then um, I, I'm sensing here that, you know, with the five of pentacles, this can also be like codependence. I'm not getting the devil card, but this is a card in which two people are kind of stuck together mainly due to their own situation similar situation walking along a similar life path or going along a similar life path okay and with the judgment card right next to it i do feel that it is really important to identify if something is codependent and then try to fix it all right so that would be my overall advice for you, Taurus. Um, I do feel that it is a little bit of a financially troubling month. I also feel that there is a, there's a new home. A lot of you are changing homes or looking for a home, changing properties. And a lot of you are just, um, I feel like practical responsibilities 
are kind of falling on the wayside. It's, it's almost as if, and this is very strange for me to say to an earth sign, especially to a Taurus, but I do feel that, you know, for some reason, practical considerations, practical ways of doing things have been left on the wayside and they're starting to catch up with you. So this is the month in, in which you have to take care of the logistical stuff. And it would be best for you to get help. It would be best for you to let others help you. And for some reason as well, there are a lot of people here and you might just have, you know, you might just be traveling, bouncing from place to place in order to see other people. And you might just feel, which can be a financial drain for you, by the way, with the King of Pentacles here as your energy. And you might not feel like you have adequate time alone. You're feeling quite happy, quite emotionally fulfilled. But I feel like you need alone time, okay? So some alone time is... Uh, you want the alone time, but you're not getting it. But I do feel other people coming in to help you is going to be very beneficial for you. So either way, it is going to be a good month, a little bit of a financially um, troubling month. But I do sense that if you are to, uh, if you've foreseen this, if you've foreseen these unex um, unanticipated expenditures, or for some reason, if you've anticipated this, you're going to be able to shoulder it just fine. But allow other people to help you and ask for help as well. All right. The new home environment looks very stable, so I definitely feel that um, for those of you who have major, who, who have just, you know, gone through a relocation or something like that, I definitely feel the new environment is going to bring in new relationships, new beginnings for you that will prove to be very, very fruitful for you in the future. So it's going to bring a, with it a lot of success as well. So don't worry, okay, Taurus, 